Hi, Sean. Hi, Zir, Tommy, Muhammad. Uh, today we'll do team critique, I guess. Dang, you guys are fast. Hi, Black Star. All right, actually, I don't really even need to be on tap tap right now. No problem, Paul. Actually, I need to know if it still works, so please, uh, you know. If it's still working, then we're good. Because uh, the other one um, is no longer active. Hi, Din and Scythe. I'm doing pretty good. Karma. Okay, well, Karma's first because he posted really fast, so hold on. Boink. All right. You have... Okay. I don't think you can do better than this. Uh, Paul, I'm not sure. I think that we stand a pretty good chance if they space our teams out right. Uh, we were placed badly last week, and so we lost. But this week, maybe we'll win? I bet on us in the top four. Uh, Darren, I was told it stopped working. Okay. Karma, what I would say is try to replace this saw with Ultima. Ult like, it looks like you have some fodder here. You can take Ultima to 7. Uh, I don't think you have enough to take Ultima to 8, but saw is much better than... Hi, Jao. Saw is much better than... Uh, or Ultima is much better than saw. I know that's going to hurt for cleric flags, but ultimately... Ultima is worth taking to 10, and Saw is not, so that's what I would say. Hi, Kamir. I don't even vote on us all the time anymore. Actually, I used to. I voted on us uh, top 4 last week, and I won that. I'm going to vote on us top 4 this week because I need to see how it plays out. Uh, the other server, the other one, I th what are they called? Back to, back to something? Let me see. What are they even called? Best, best to best? They have way more Mars and Phoenix than, or we have more Phoenix, they have more Mars. By a long shot, so... I think that we might lose to them for a little while unless we place our people better. Alright, next is Tommy. Uh, Karma, yes, put Ultima as tank. Put her, put Ultima in front of M Abyss Lord and you'll be good. Uh, yeah, I'm really worried about our future in Guild Wars for a little bit. Nice, Muhammad. Uh, Zir, can you post it in the channel? I'm not going to do team critique off of chat right now. Hmm. This is a very interesting team, Tommy. What do you get for guild bet? You get, if you bet on someone to win, you get five times your bet. If you bet on them in top four, you get three times. And if you bet on them in top eight, you get two times. Should you 10-star Centaur? Yeah, I would 10-star Centaur. I mean, the goal is to eventually replace him with Luna or Dro, but if you can't get either of those, Centaur is fine. Okay, so... Tommy, what I would do here is I would use these six. Ultima Tank, Abyss Lord, second... 
Valkyrie third, and then probably Vivian, Werewolf, Puppet Maid in the back. Uh, you have two assassins, which is kind of weak, but, um... Yeah, you're eventually going to need to get rid of both of these, but you don't really have better options right now. Uh, you don't have good damage dealing six stars that you can make, but, you know, that's fine. You can go ahead and take Abyss Lord up to seven stars. Uh, you've got the fodder for it. Abyss Lord will be a better tank than Rilia at seven stars, so that's perfectly fine. Uh, you can go ahead and use Abyss Lord all the way up to nine. Um to, you know, eventually be foddered or anything. But yeah, don't use Valkyrie as your tank. She cannot tank. Yeah, so here we go. Ultima, Abyss, Valk, and then Vivian, and the two assassins. That's your team. You cannot worry about Aura for a little while, not until you've got some better options. Alright. Sean, are you? Why are you posting Legion? The worst ten is either Orphe or Walnir. Actually, it could be Orphe or Mega. All right, Sean, what are you posting here? Why did you post a Legion image like four times? No, Valk is a bad tank at any level. Period. She should not be a tank. There's too much risk of her being controlled, and you don't want that. Alright. Saw Machine 9 Star, not really that good, no. HP Rune on Valk basically neutralizes all her power you shouldn't do that okay so sean the problem here is that you're focusing way too much power into your three teams you should have two teams be much stronger and one team be like your leftovers so your three teams are too even you would be much better off with like two teams at 180 to 200,000 power and your last team be left over five stars uh, to that event, you should probably put Tesla up here, attack or speed on Valk, probably speed. You should probably put Tesla up here, and then here, I mean, or actually if you focus power from here into here, let me see. Make, if you make this your power team, and you move Rilia and Mulan here over Abyss Lord and Nameless King... And then... Wow, you have a very interesting spread of power. But try to make it so that... Try to make it so that this team has higher power. Because right now it's too close to this one. HP rune is just a terrible idea in general. Sorry, Hayes. At your point, I would worry more of... Sean, seriously. Oops. Oops, okay, that's a terrible idea. Hold on, I need to undo that. Okay, this is not a ter this is not a good idea. So, okay, so I need to fix this. Hmm. I'll fix that later. Should you fodder 6-star Rilia to make Abyss 8? Uh, in your case, maybe not yet, because you still need Rilia for... 
you still need Rilia for a Legion and Expedition. And so you'd rather kind of... You'd rather keep her for now. But when you graduate to not needing Rilia and Expedition anymore, or Legion, Legion being the most critical, then go ahead and fodder her. Alright. Aaron. I foddered my Rilia too. I had a nine star Rilia and I foddered her. I eventually, I did finally make it to a point where I didn't need her anymore. So, you know, you'll get there. Just, uh... well, that's a pretty good team. Uh, Will, I'm doing team critique on Discord, so if you're gonna post a team, please post it there instead. I'm not gonna do any teams out of chat right today. Okay, so Aaron, the thing about Scarlet is, she's generally a sacrificial tank, so she should actually be up front. Uh, you can, now that you've got the rest of your damage dealers at a similar star range, you can actually put Scarlet first. So Scarlet, then Ultima, then Vegasir, and then put like Valkyrie in the back back. Uh, Will, if you look in the in the video description, there is a link to my Discord and a and a note to the channel. Sad, not that sad. Hi Jesse and Kenny, not that sad. So yeah, Aaron, try putting Scarlet in front. As far as putting Scarlet or Ultima first, you have to play with it. You have to see if they survive long enough. Um, whoever is in front needs to survive long enough to be able to fire their skill after taking six hits. Uh, that is not always the case with either of them, so play with it. In general though, Scarlet should be first if she's going to be used at all. Because everybody that hits her get, gets poisoned back. Regardless of whether or not she fires her skill, you will land a poison on them just from getting hit. Hi, bunny. So, try doing that, Aaron. Ultima does zero damage usually. Yeah, that happens. That's why you gotta maximize um, Ultima with dodge, uh, with damage reduction, with um, stuff like that. But if you put Scarlet in front, Scarlet generally should survive the first six hits and fire her skill, but depending on what you fight, play around with that order. But generally, that's the order that it should be. Scarlet, Ultima, Vegas here. You might have a problem with that because Ultima's too low level. He's gonna fire his skill too slowly. In that case, it might you might want Ultima first and then Scarlet. Ooh, it's kind of a tough call. You gotta play with that, but ultimately that would be your front line. You would prefer Scarlet to take hits early. Attack rune on Scarlet, yes. She's too slow to do anything, and uh, she's guaranteed to do a whole ton of pump of poison damage, regardless of whether she lives or dies. So that's why she can be okay with an attack rune. Um, I actually don't really use my Scarlet anymore, but I did, I did keep her with an attack rune. Oh, Scarlet. She served me so well, and now she's so useless. Alright. Next is Sick Track. Are you lurking on Twitch? Hi Michael, I'm doing okay. I have a really scary thing though, is that anytime I have any chest pain at all, now I'm paranoid and I'm like, is this going to be an attack on something? The best purple artifact? No such thing. 
but probably the most useful one is going to be any of the damage, the cleric or the the faction dam class damage ones because uh, one of those is going to be better than not having anything at all. Like if you if you run out of purple class damage artifacts, you can go ahead and use a purple. Right, Will. Screenshot and post it in Discord. Wow. That's a lot of... Hi, Viet. Dang, sick track. This is pretty cool. Uh, John, can you post that in... in Discord, please? Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you even have a good aura here. Oh. So Ultima, Phoenix, Shudmel, and then Dro, Freya, Nameless King in the back. That's solid. Purple for health and speed. Uh, yes, but the amount of speed that you get out of the purple one isn't significant. It only gives 24, and that's not generally enough to make a difference when you need to put someone's speed up. So that's why you kind of want to wait for the purple version, which gives 42 speed. Hi, Pedro. Honestly, Sick Track, this is as almost as good a team as it gets right now. Until you get, like, Mars or Valkyrie. That's really as good as it gets. Ultima is useless? You would be surprised. Sean, you posted, like, four pictures out of order. I don't... I... And you're... Your main team still isn't there by the time that, like, three other people posted. So, no, I didn't see your... You didn't actually post your a regular team. Saw with... Ultima is better than Saw. So, anyway, the thing about Ultima is that he gets hit and he makes your whole team stronger. If you take him out, you will notice that your entire team's damage goes down. Uh, so it's not that he himself does the damage. It's that he, by going down to 50% HP, raises your entire rest of the team by 25% or so. Is it 25 at 9 star? Or is it 30? I think it's 30, actually. Let me take a look. Thirty, so he re he increases your whole team by thirty, and reduces their defense by nine. So if he gets knocked down to fifty percent in the first round, your whole team got way stronger. Uh, yes, Ultima does no damage, but he makes up for it by being a a tank that buys you time, b a humongous buff to the rest of your stuff. For Thondi to 9 over clerics, I would do that. But good luck with flags. That's murder. Sorry, Bold. Looks like you're getting top 8. I mean 16. You kill us and... Face it, you beat us in Team Arena and Legion, so... Let us have Guild Wars. <laughs> Uh, Aaron, that's what happens. Like, the entire server will get stuck at a certain power level, and they'll need to until they get there. Alright, I'll go back to Sean, actually. Sean, really? You posted your Legion team, like, three times. Alright, so... Uh, 
no, Tesla is better, Abon. Bold, I fell for the trap, but I got one Luna. Alright, so... In this case... Monkey King or Freya? Honestly, I would take Freya. Or no, I mean Monkey King, sorry. I would take Monkey King. Monkey King is more solid. But he's like... Freya has the potential to do more damage, but Monkey King is more solid all around and better in more situations. So this gets into the weird thing, is that I'm told, hi Fies, that uh, Phoenix is, should be better. Phoenix should be better as a tank, and yet... I don't think so at six stars, so I would say use Vegasir tank, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. But you have no healers. Phoenix and Ultima too many tanks? Yeah, that's why I don't use Phoenix as a tank. I use Monkey King as a tank. Second best alliance hero is Ultima. Alright, Sean. I would say use Vegvasir, um, Phoenix, Tesla, Freya, Reaper, Vivienne. Because you don't have an Aura anyway. I would rather have this Tesla over the Centaur. So I would say Veg, Tesla, uh, Freya, Reaper, Phoenix, Vivienne. This Rillia does nothing for you. Fies, that was a lot of highs. Ah, that was a rhyme. Like, I would not use your Centaur. Or Hester, or Mega. Well, if you get... If you get Verthandi, take out Vivienne. Alright, Black Star. With a healthy dose of me. Ah, uh, Monty, I started 23 minutes ago. Hi, Andy. Did I download Discord? I'm on Discord. In fact, Discord is how people send me their teams. Alright, Blackstar. You've got... Birth, Bench, Forest, Healer, and Junk. Birth. Okay. Okay, Black Star, Ultima's got to go in front. That's how Ultima works. He's got to be in front, otherwise, uh, all of pretty much most of his uselessness or his usefulness is nerfed. So if you swap this, and then and then that's pretty much all you can do. You don't have any good undead to replace Ripper, so I guess there's not much else you can do with that. But also, you're getting to the point where this Freya is starting to hold you, hold you back. Thanks, Fies. Uh, yeah, Sean, that would be it. Alright, so aside from that, you need to start thinking about, um, start thinking about replacing this Freya. Because if you don't get her to 6-7 stars soon, uh, she's gonna start holding you back heavy. It looks like you've got... 
Is this a Chessia? So you don't have the fodder yet, but until Freya is our... If anybody else goes higher in stars, Freya's got to go. Like a six star Freya can't hang on an eight star team. That's basically what it comes down to. But aside from that, move Ultima over and you're good. No, just wait for it. Just wait for it and survive because right now you don't have anyone better. But the moment that you start improving the rest of your team, Freya has to go. All right, next is, who is this? Kaki. Uh, Will, I'm going in order. X-Death or Puppet Maid? I would say X-Death. For an early character, X-Death is better. And because X-Death very much helps to fight Rilia. Okay, so. Huh, seven star Verthandia's tank, interesting. Hmm. Hmm, I don't like this. I don't like that your tank is your lowest star. And that Verthandi at 7 stars, unless she has, like, max... She's not even max level. Is Ultima plus Phoenix okay together? I use them together. Uh, Blackstar, you got nobody right now. Don't even worry about it. But, yeah, don't use Mega. Don't, never, never use Mega again. But you don't have anybody that would be good. Probably the only one that might be okay would be, like, Saw? But for now, I'd say don't worry about it. I don't like this. Carlos, I mean... I don't, I don't get why you let your Verthandi be such low level. I guess let me know. If Verthandi is doing okay as a tank, leave her. But if not, put back in uh, Minotaur and, and up his level and make him the tank. Because I don't trust a 7 star Verthandi as a tank when you're fighting 9 to 10 star people. So that's my thoughts on that. Uh, putting back in Minotaur would sacrifice your Aura, but uh, I don't think Verthandi's a good tank at that level. Alright, next is Sin Titulo. You're top of your server, so she's living? Okay, then, I mean, go with it. It's a solid team, it's just, it seems like you're too low level to have Verthandi be the tank. But until you're fighting other people... At your same level, I mean, rock with, roll with it, and then, yeah. Like, I'm going to assume that anybody showing me their team is, yes, Ultima is the tank, but Ultima is a sacrificial tank. Ultima is designed to take damage and die early. Uh, Ultima is meant to go to 50% as soon as possible. And if he survives after that, so much more the better, but usually he doesn't. Really, the only time that Ultima starts living a long time is after you hit 10 stars, and then he lives forever. But before that, he dies real quick. Alright, so this is... who is this? Ma. Okay, Ma. Okay, so this is basically standard, is that people don't have a good alliance, so they put in Medusa. But you have Ultima. You have a decent alliance. And you have fodder for him, so you can take him to 7. You have another fodder. Uh, if possible, I would try to take Ultima up and use him instead. Use Ultima instead of this Medusa, that way you can get a... Higher Rise, of uh, Valk is a... Valk is a rare, rare creature. I w 
So I would say use Ultima over Medusa. For now, this is fine, but you'd rather get this Ultima in front. Because really, the ultimate goal is to get a... a really, uh, your, your goal is to get the Unity Aura eventually. And Ultima is one that will last you all the way to 10 stars. So definitely worth using. Mid-game, easy to get healer. Forest healer, Vivienne are the easy ones to get. Um, if you can get them, if you're lucky, Shud, Mel, and Dro are good healers. Pat, barring that, that's pretty much it. Those are the only four that I would say would be good healer healers. That are actually useful up to nine and beyond. Uh, Blackstar, do not fodder Bloodtooth. There may come a time when he becomes better. Wait, who is Ma? Is Ma here? I don't see anyone named Ma in here. Or KN? KN. Which team is the most complete all around? Um. You know who else doesn't heal? Uh, Dark Judge? Or Hester? Hester is a cleric who doesn't heal. This is technically the perfect team. Hi, Bob. Monkey King, uh, Dro, Valkyrie, Phoenix, Shudmel, Mars. This is effectively the perfect Unity team to make. If you have Lindbergh, maybe he can replace someone, but I don't think so. I think this is the overall strongest team that you can make. Um, there are some people, there are some servers that have more than one of them. That's kind of crazy. We don't got it. All right, so Ma, yeah, get get Ultima, level him up, replace Medusa. And then you'll be solid. This is a team uh, with Medusa in place. This is a team that you can take all the way up to 10 stars. Uh, the only really change that you can make is to replace Reaper for Shoot Mel someday, but you don't have her, so whatever. But once you get in that Ultima, you're good all the way to 10 stars. Good to go. And I would use Ultima even at just 8 stars, so don't even worry about that. Okay, next is Itachi. What is your... Itachi, your... Your profile image is... Interesting. Uh, Thomas, everything is in the video description. Discord link and channel link. Why do so many people have Ripper 9 star? Like, why is Ripper such a common early 9, 10 star? I don't get it. I had trouble getting extra copies of Ripper. Like, I didn't get my extra 2 for 10 star until much, much later. I don't understand. Did I... I don't get it. Whoa, what is this? How how are you using a six star as a tank on a nine star team? Wow. Okay. I don't understand how you plan to tank with this team. But this is gonna hold you back. This holds you back so hard. I don't understand.
Hi, hi Gabe. All right, so, um, yeah, I would put the Rillia back in and sacrifice your Aura for a second, but it's like, he doesn't, she doesn't, she cannot survive like this. There's no way that a six star, that a six star can handle fighting a eight stars. Let me see if I can find that. I want to see if I can find a team that's got six stars to fight. To fight with just eight stars. Because I think if you hit eight stars with... If you hit a six star with eight stars, you're doomed. I don't know if I have any on my friends list right now. I don't seem to have any, but let me say that if I have an 8-9 star team and you've got a 6 star tank, that 6 star is dying in like 3 hits. So there's just no way. Hi Simone. There's just no way that a 6 star will survive. So, And even that Rillia, a 7 star Rillia is not going to survive against 8-9 star people. She'll do better, but she's going to do very poorly. So it's a, this is a very interesting decision to make. The rest of the team is fine, but you have no tank. And they will begin to tear through your team very quickly. Uh, Aaron, I wouldn't use Mars unless you know that you can get him up to 10. You have 800, you have 3000 now and you need 800 by Thursday. If you've already spent all your gems and you can't get any more, um, I think you'll be just short. I think you won't make it. I think you're going to end up at like 35, 3600. And so after that, you kind of have to make your own decision on whether or not you think you can do it. Is 8-star really a good? Well, you've already made her 7, so you might as well make her 8. You might as you could use this Minotaur as fodder, or you could wait to get someone else. I mean, it's going to take you a long time to get these 3 Heaven 5-stars to get, to get her up. So you need to act basically as fast as possible to get yourself a half-decent tank. losing me okay where am i i'm his next is zavi 88 oh okay so your team is obviously everybody but walnir how long have i been playing tap tap about 17 months Growth Fund is the best deal in the game right now, Aaron. Uh, Mario, I'm doing team critique, so I can't answer team questions in chat. Is Bold Estine still here? This is the part that I'm not 100% on. So you've got Phoenix, but you've got Vegvisir. Now, Phoenix can already be your tank, but you can use Vegasir as a tank, and he does pretty good as a tank because getting hit makes him freeze better. And then Phoenix is in the back. 
but is it better to use Vegasir as a tank and put Phoenix in the back? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. But you can put Phoenix in front and use Veg in the back and he will do a higher crit rate so he'll have a basically he'll be a freeze machine because he does well in the back so I would say put Phoenix tank and veg in the back for now how do you grow quickly you can't grow that quickly really your first like three weeks your first two three weeks maybe month is gonna be pretty slow but as long as you save the resources effectively and maximize everything, even if you just pull like 10 Miracle Eyes, that's already free stuff. Even if you just pull like like 24 or like 40 wheel spins, that's already free stuff. If you can save those three re major resources to pull for events, um, a free five star is better than no five star. Hi Kent. All right, so Phoenix in front, followed by probably Verthandi and Vivienne, and then Medusa, Freya, and Vedrasir in the back. That's probably what I would do. Monty, those dark three stars are hard to get, surprisingly. Hi Rex. Okay, next is going to be Sauce. What am I doing here, Sauce? What in the world? Alright, so here is... Awesome, Kent. What? When I sent... What? Teddy, you already ate. I can't feed you again. Alright, so... Sauce. Uh, this is a terrible idea. You need to have... You need to split your power here. Uh, Discord link is in the video description. You need to split your power here so that you have two strong teams. The goal of Legion is to have two strong teams. Wait, did I go offline? Oh, I read Twitch... Uh, Streamlabs is saying Twitch is having issues. So, I don't know. So you need to split this and probably have two teams be like 300,000 power. And you can't, because you can't win with this. You can only win one battle. If I have two 300,000 power teams, this, okay, what? Oh. Oh, I didn't notice this was a five, st 10 star. You troll. You troll. But if I go into this team with, if I go into this team with like two 10 stars, I'll still beat you. Like half decent ones. I wouldn't recommend that, but I guess I haven't seen the power of a single Phoenix. That's, I would say it depends on the strength of your server. Because if your server has a bunch of other 10 stars, and then, uh... If your server has a bunch of people with 10 stars, then... No, you're not- this team is- is gonna lose. Uh... But if they go into this team with a bunch of 8 and 9 stars, they'll lose. I get that. But if they go into it with 1 or 2 10 stars, you'll lose. Like, a couple of 10 stars will beat this team, and a couple of 10 stars will beat this team. It really, de like, it depends on the strength of your server. It depends on who you're fighting. Top 3 on Arena means nothing. Because you can be top 1 on your server, and if the other 7 servers in your cluster are stronger, then you're nothing. That's how it comes down to. Like, anyone on GT4 is, that's... Or let, let's say GT7, let's like number one in their server, then 
and he comes to to our legion cluster and they get wrecked that's what happened all the people that's why the merge was so bad is because the clusters are so strong uh abon i'm going in order top guy has four star what does that mean I mean, are you sure that the top guy in your entire cluster of eight servers is weaker than this? Doesn't have, like, three ten stars? Because if that's so, then you can win, but... I would go into this team with a trash team, because my trash... Any trash team will beat this team. So you'll, they'll beat this team with a trash one, they'll come into this with 10 stars, and they'll beat this, and then you lose. They don't even need to see this team. Think about that. I'll go into this team with 8 stars, and kill you, and I'll go into this team with 2 10 stars, and I'll kill that, and then I never see this team. Or, I go into this team with a, with with eight stars i go into this team with my one stars and i go into this team with all four ten stars and i kill you that way in fact i never see this team at all i i've done that plenty of times my third team right move to change nine star minotaur to a centaur not unless you don't have a, not unless you already have another tank like, anybody that's paying attention will use their trash team to beat this team, use their super strong, or use their trash team, like, use their second best team to maybe lose to this, and put their strongest team here. I would do that. I would absolutely do that. And then you lose. So, hey, if this works for you, try it, but if anybody is any actually competitive people that are paying attention this is this is not going to do anything a single 10 star phoenix is is not that strong he'll beat he'll beat like weak eight nine t star teams and maybe teams with a terrible 10 star but how would i split it i would split the power off of this team I would, I would put, like, I would probably put, I would put Rulia down here. Maybe Rulia and, I would put Rulia and Medusa with Phoenix and make a, make an aura out of them. And then leave this team with Verthandi, Luna, Freya, Valkyrie, because Valkyrie is quite scary. But I would not make this team so easy to beat. Uh, Aaron, it's hard to predict CE because you'd be surprised. People throw... People... Uh, I, I find it very hard to predict CE because if you say like 400,000, I don't know what that means. I won't know that it means, you know, that he has four nine stars and, and such. But if he has 7,000 and I know that these this turn this team is trash and this is a very strong team i'm gonna beat this team with a weak team i'm gonna throw my worst team against this one and i'm gonna throw my strongest team against this one and he will lose to that uh phoenix will not beat anybody's strongest team here and especially if your guy has four ten stars and they were smart they would split it zero two two They'll kill this team with two 10 stars. They'll kill this team with two 10 stars. And now you lost again. So, yeah. I would split it and put a little more power here. Rulia and Medusa, at the least, would make this team quite more annoying. Because uh, Rulia tends to tank out against other 9 stars for a little while. But, uh, Aiden or Reaper? I would take Reaper phone account on a PC emulator. Yes, Justin, if you use Nox Player emulator, you can use Oh, Monty, it's so awkward. But your wallet is so big. Uh, Justin, if you use Nox Player Android emulator, that only works for Android. If you play on iPhone, it doesn't work, but if you do uh, Android, you can do it that way. So that's what I'm playing on right now is Nox Player. 
See, Aaron, that's what I'm asking. It depends on the relative strength of your server. If he is the only one with a 10 star in his entire cluster, okay, this is a very good team. But if he's not, and he's got seven other servers to contend with, and they have multiple 10 stars, then this becomes a very bad team. So, that, that, it kind of is like up to that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I need to speed up. Okay, I gotta speed up a bit. There's a lot going on here. Okay, so this is your new team. See, this team is also is, is way stronger. The only problem is that this team has no chance to win, but I guess that's as good as you get. People will probably still mess with it and like throw their weakest team here. And then they'll sacrifice this, beat this, and then beat this. And that's what most people are going to do. So maybe in this case, hide. Hide the Phoenix team. Throw your weakest team up here. Put... No, don't hide your Phoenix team. Put your weakest team up front, put the Phoenix team second, and put this team third. That way, they'll run into this team and they're going to walk into a wall because this this team is going to blow up a weaker team. Hi, Weimer. So, I'm... Yeah, so... I would say in this case, show your weak team. Because your two teams are... A little bit more scary now. All right, SMK. I I'm gonna start going faster. I gotta I gotta go faster. I'm sorry. There's just way too many. Okay, so you're using this. This is a good team. This is this is a very good team. The only thing I can say is try to take Abyss Lord up. Check top guy. Oh my god. Yeah, that top guy is going to kill you not even without even blinking. So if you're trying not to compete with him, then like if you want to stay in uh like if you want to stay like top 10 maybe, I don't know what the rest of it is. Like he's going to kill you. This guy is not even fair against you. You can make a Medusa and you can buy buy an Ultima in the Soul Shop. Did you buy the Ultima for 3,000 souls? In your case, I would avoid Medusa. In your case, so what I'm saying is, make Abyss Lord, use him, replace Rilia. Uh, one Phoenix, one Valk, one Shud. Okay, ignore all of those because one copy isn't going to help you. Take Abyss Lord up and then use him instead of Rilia and you'll do fine. This team will take you up to 9 stars. See, that's a dangerous thing to do. Uh, like, if you're planning on holding on to this Abyss Lord until you, can, until you get the second Phoenix, you're stuck fighting at the 7 star level. So... If you think that you can survive with that, that's fine. But if you think that Phoenix is going to take a long time to get, which he will, uh, Ultima is better than Tesla. Um, if you think that you can... That's not true. Phoenix is not unbeatable. And if they have a 7-star Phoenix, you can still beat them if your team is strong and set up right. So... You also have the, you can make the six star Khalil. Try doing that instead. Use six star Khalil, but you need to either move your team up by taking it up stars, or you need to, I don't know. I don't know what you're planning on doing, but the best way is if you think you can stay with this team based on the copies of what you have, Abyss Lord is the best option. It, it, I know Phoenix is game-breaking, but he's not unbeatable. 
Just because you have a Phoenix doesn't mean you're guaranteed to win. There's so many people that I fight with Phoenix that I beat because the rest of their team isn't good. Is Abyss better than Rilia? At 7 to 9 stars, yes. At 5 to 7, Rilia is better. 5 to just before 7. After that, R Abyss Lord is better. Uh, Rilia is actually quite terrible after 7 stars. Okay, come here. Teddy, what are you doing? Oops. Kamir has three pictures. Okay. Teddy? Teddy? Wanna come, wanna come on camera? And Ultima? Ignore Ultima for now. I mean, if you can't make the second Ultima... I mean, what are you going to do with, with one Ultima? One copy of Ultima isn't going to do anything for you. So hold on to the souls and wait until you have a second copy. Hi, Rogue. Teddy Cat. Oh, you already have one? In that sense, in that case, you can go ahead and make Ultima and replace Tesla. But only if you can take Ultima to seven stars right away. The best hero you get from Login... Hester? They don't give good heroes on Login. Alright, who is this? This is... Kamir. Okay, Kamir, are you still here? You're so close to a you're so close to a, a dire aura and yet you can't make it. You're so close. They give centaur? Really? Okay, then centaur. But in general there's nobody good. Uh Samuel, your damage will be fine. Freya is strong, Verthandia is strong, Hester is strong. Um, you'll be fine. You've actually got decent damage in there. Okay, so... Dang, come here, that sucks. So, in that sense, what do you use? You gotta use Tesla. Okay, so Kamir, a seven star, seven star Ultima uh, Rex. What was your account name in there? Oh no, no, it's just Rex, right? Okay, you converted a Phoenix. Centaur is strong. He's not he's not meta anymore, but he's still good for friends boss. Well worth making if if you have the spare fodder. Oh my God, I'm covered in cat fur again. Teddy, stop shedding. Stop shedding. Okay. So, eventually, probably try to make this Ultima higher and replace and replace Tesla. Probably at 9 star, 8 stars, I would, have, I would rather have Ultima over Tesla. Doesn't look like you have the fodder for it. Do you put Ultima in front? Yes, Ultima is meant to be in front of the tank. Uh, Rogue, he's already using a non-Ara team. He has no Ara. He's very close to a dire aura if he had a second hell, but he doesn't have one. So it's gonna be Minotaur. Um, I don't know. It would be Ultima, Minotaur, Shudmel, and then Freya, Reaper, Medusa in the back. Just hurting for copies. But yeah, try to make this Ultima. Eight and use him, but until then, you're what you've got is the best of what you got. So, also you don't have any six-star fodder, so I guess you're gonna have to wait for some fodder. Oh well. All right, Elias. By the way, Aaron, I use Centaur on my friend's boss team. He does. He puts in some work. 
he seriously puts in some work. Seven stars, Heaven's Judge. I can't even make fun of Seven Star Heaven's Judge. You think... Did you see the rest of his team? He has damage up the butt. He has Reaper, Freya, Shudmel, and Medusa. That is so much damage. He's fine. He is, he is fine. He's got some really high damage characters in there. And plus Medusa Freya is a strong combo. Aaron, if you happen to have spare elf, Centaur is well worth making. But really only if you already have a Luna or a Dro 10 stars. Alright, so... Should you 8 star Ultima your first 8? I don't know that Ultima... I would want Ultima to be the highest on my team, but... The Ultima is well worth taking the 8 stars. Alright, so Elias. Seriously? Hi Goose, long time no see. Elias, are you seriously are you serious with this? Like what is, what is this? Teddy, it's not food time. Uh yeah, I still play AFK every day actually. Not on stream, but I play it. Oh my god. Hi Xavier. Elias! Seriously! What is this? What is this? You can't do this. Do I need to do I need to show rule two? It's gonna be a long time before you can have the fodder to push that heavens judge to nine. Believe me, I know. Oh my god. I'm not worried about your 9 star and your ultima. I'm worried about this right here. This 5 star Verthandi who dies in one hit. Hi Dimitri. One hit. I'd rather have this Mega. I'd rather have this Saw Machine. Uh, Aaron, I only have two rules right now. Hi, Kyle. I Yeah, throw in the... Oh my god, how do you have no tank? What did you do with your tank? Have you not had a tank all this time? I mean, worst case, level up this Minotaur. Use him. I know some people don't agree with uh, don't agree with using Minotaur. All right, Elias, let's do some math, okay? Ten percent to all the good heroes minus one hundred percent of having one good hero. Your net is a negative sixteen percent. And honestly, 5v6 is is really bad. Like, that one extra skill that they fire over you is, can be the game changer. In fact, it will be the game changer pretty much every time. So, no. Toss the Aura. Get rid of... Get rid of Rathandi. Use somebody. Oh, yeah. You have Vegas here. Use Vegas here. Yeah, use Vegas here. So, you don't have any fodder to take him up, but oh my god. Just as a reminder, as a reminder, this is a, this is a thing. Do not, oh my god, do not use that Verthandi. That's not even a tr it's not even a good troll. You're just trolling yourself. So, yeah, replace get this Vegas here up. Use him. 
and you will do instantly much, much better. I don't make that rule lightly. It's definitely a thing. It is absolutely something that more people need to remember. It applies to Legion, it applies to some stuff. Okay, Rex, you can stop. Uh, you have three Heaven's Judge six stars. Yeah, but where are you going to get that second copy? And even if you get that... Well, okay, if you get that second copy and eight star her, you're fine, but... You're using her now. What the goose already? How much money did you spend? My god, I don't even I have a legendary plus Shamira. And I've been playing for like a month. How did you get to how did you get to ascend it already? Wow, Xavier, that Mars. No, no, Rex, I mean you're just uh attacking him a little bit too much. <laughs> What? Ah, uh, no. Low level is not gonna not gonna make not gonna be a thing. Almost a month longer. Oh, okay. Dang, one twelve. Okay, that's a lot. You have fifty thousand. All right. Well, but you still need to. So you you still need two days. Uh, and by the end of that, Legion is going to be over, so you should... You should probably take out, uh... Take out Vrithondi now and use, and use someone else for Legion. Teddy! Teddy, stop! Uh, I'm just doing Team Critique fries, so you haven't missed anything different than what's going on. Okay, Peter Tap Tap. Where did my Discord go? Here. Uh, FBI, here is a me beginner's guide. Uh, Elias, you should use um, Mega, or not Mega, you should use Vegasir. Vegasir is going to be the best to go up. Oh, you're Legion, right. I don't, I... I think that this Legion is kind of the best that you can do. Knowing that this team is going to be junk no matter what, this is probably the best it can be set up. Minotaur alone here? I would take Minotaur. And hiding this team is not bad because... Although... Yeah, hiding this team is better. This is not a good team either, but... Uh, it's better than this, and it's the... You know, hopefully they run into it with some with some weaker stuff. Like if they don't pay attention, then they waste a strong team here. They'll lose. Goose, I've never pulled a single Aziz. Scarlet or Rilia? Uh, Scarlet for damage, Rilia at for low level tank. Okay, who is Peter Tap Tap? Oh my god, I have to really speed up. Where the heck did it go? Why does it keep putting me in different places? Do you swap Mulan for Walnir? Uh, Monty, I can't do team critique in chat. You gotta post it in the Discord. Okay. Oh, who's your sixth? Luna. Okay. Wow. Yeah, okay, this is pretty standard. 
Uh, come here, nobody. I can't even... I can't flame anybody with... With, uh... With a 7-star Heaven's Judge. Oh! You did it that way. Really? Okay, um, Peter Tap Tap, uh, I assume that eventually when this Luna hits max level, you're gonna replace Mickey, I have no idea, there's a lot of people. I assume that when you hit max level on this Luna, you're gonna be replacing Aiden, and after that is Cole, I don't think so, were you before... I would take the 10 star Ultima over a 9 star Valkyrie, but you can play with it because both options are perfectly okay. Uh, that's what Boomin does. Boomin uses his 9 star Valkyrie. Teddy! Alright, so hey Tanker. Alright, so once you do that, then you are set up to eventually replace Medusa for a good alliance and get uh, an Aura, but for since you don't have a good alliance here, you're fine. This team, this six people, is solid, and you can take this up to 10 star. Perfectly fine. Alright, next is Willy. Oh, Teddy. Teddy is, uh, keeping me company right now. Teddy! What are you doing? What was my first 10 star? It was actually Monkey King. Teddy! Alright, so who is this? Willy. Okay, Willy. Oof. My next one was... Might have been Vrithandi, actually, but... I don't remember, actually. Yeah, I think it was Vrithandi. Monkey King and Vrithandi. And then I think my third one was Scarlet. No, 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 not Scarlet. Centaur? It was Centaur. So, okay. So... Teddy! What do you want? Teddy, why are you so noisy today? The best horde besides Phoenix is Medusa. How what? I was actually the first person on my server with a 9 star Monkey King. And then I got lucky and had two extra copies. This is a big oof because... He's got three five stars in it, but you don't have dupes to level anybody up. I don't think you can do anything until you start getting more copies. But now I worry because Medusa over Scarlet, yes. Come here, everybody wants Monkey King. He's really good. Um, so Elias, or no, Willy, the thing that I ask is, did you fodder anyone good to make this Luna? Because you might have been better served having an extra 6 star elf than to make this Luna 8 star. Hey Monk by R. So this is... I, I wonder who you made fodder for this and because that probably hurt a lot. I'm doing good, Monk Bar. What am I guessing? All the fodder was terrible? Okay. But still, like a, a, a terrible 6 star fodder would have been better than this 5 star Martin. Would have been better than... 
like a terrible six star is still better than five stars in most cases. Uh, no, no, no. Monkfire, today I'm doing Team Critique. So this is not my account. This is, uh, Will's account. No, Mickey, I don't think you got skipped. If you go back to the order of the discard, Discord, look for Willy's post, and that's where I am right now. All right, Willy, you, this is, um, kind of poor decisions all around, but you've made them and they're done. So all you can do now is work with it, wait, and hopefully get some fodder to get this Freya up. Uh, hopefully get, boy, you have no five stars. No five stars, that's... Oh, come here. That's what always happens. The alt always has better luck as, at the start. I don't know. Will, you just gotta get more copies. You can't do anything right now. Oh, Cole, you're next. Uh, no, Penny, Freya is terrible at 5 stars. Freya at 5 stars, her skill only hits 4 people. And Dro is actually still useful at 5 stars because Dro maintains the 50% silence even at 5 stars. It has like a 75% chance to silence at 5 stars, maybe 50. But yeah, no, Dro is still useful. You need tips? The only tip is get more 6 stars, actually. Um, pull your Heaven and Hell probably in... Or pull your Miracle Eyes in... Probably Heaven and Hell. Uh, get this Freya up. Get those feathers going and try to get Verthandi up. Um... No, not Martin for Freya. I'm telling you, Freya at 5 stars is useless. I guess... I guess you could do that. I would really rather have the Dro than the Freya, though. So, Pani suggests swapping this Dro for Freya just to get an Aura. To make Luna stronger. But the thing is, Luna's not a carry. Luna on her own does nothing. She doesn't do enough damage. But I guess it's a good point. Swap swap Dro for Freya. Get an Aura going. Get a Unity Aura. But do not become reliant on that Aura. Be absolutely willing to throw away the Aura the moment that you get better heroes. So, yeah, get. I guess so. I think Dro is much better than Freya, but. Since it does. Since the power of Dro and Freya doesn't actually matter, then yeah, go ahead and do that and make the Aura. But remember, be willing to throw away the Aura. And you will have to. But your Miracle Eyes, go ahead and start pulling in Heaven and Hell. Get this Freya to 6, get a Verthandi to 6. Use some converts in Alliance and get somebody else up. It's all going to depend on your luck from now on, how your pulls are. Hi, Nishan. I, yeah, I guess it's an okay idea. I don't know. Then again, if it's... Yeah, I know, Dro is really good, even at five stars, but... Because Dro offers so little, hey Colt, because Dro offers so little right now to this. She offers her silence, but really she's never going to fire her skill against 7 star teams. So, luckily Luna does okay damage and Hester does pretty good damage, but Hester's low level, oh man. Oh man, Nishan, today is team critique day. Vlado, post them in Discord, but I'm gonna have to start cutting it soon because it's going crazy. Hey, Julham. But really, if you're focusing all of the power into these three people for now, then 
Yeah, okay. Reaper or Hester? Orphe better than Olivia at 7 stars? No, they're really about the same. Hey, my main account has only ever had one draw, so I know what that feels like. Okay. Replace, replace Dro with Freya. Make the Aura. Go with that. And work on that Heaven Hell. Colt, I can't even be sad. I can't beat any of you, and I'm going to place outside top 20 in Legion again anyway. So at this point, I just don't even care. I, I don't even want to play Legion anymore. Hi, Fendi. Uh, yeah, Nishan, if you post screenshots on Discord, I, po I go over people's teams. Like, I, I totally can't, I don't really don't even care about Legion at all. I'm willing to place top 100 at this point. I just, I just don't even want to play it. It's just, it's just dumb. Alright, so this is, this is Cole, right? Cole Harrison, you still here? Uh, I'm way backed up, Vlado. Alright, so... Okay, so you can make the Aura. Right? Oh no, you can't. Don't make the Aura. Okay, in that case... B2B, B2B is so scary right now. Honestly, I would consider betting on them in Guild Wars. But I think we have a chance if they if we split up our teams more and they mess with the order. I think we might still win, but I don't know. Trading system? No, absolutely not. Any game that lets paid people play with free people should never, ever have a trading system. It will never work. And it's just going to make things terrible. Okay, so Phoenix Shoot. Oh. Oh, that's a mega. Okay, so guild shop. Don't worry about the heroes in the guild shop; they don't exist. Okay, so one, two, three, four, ooh, four, five. Oh gosh, I don't even know who your six should be. Gifting system would also ruin it. Just put it this way: all I do is take take my phone. Make a new account on TapTap, Tap, trade stuff back to my old account. If I all I gotta do is buy a burner phone and, and trade stuff back to my account. It's just it doesn't work. Or I start an emulator, I make infinite Google Play accounts, I start infinite accounts that I play simultaneously on the same server, and everything I just gift back to my main account. It's a it's a dumb idea. This game, it can never work because the abuse is too, is too strong. Who would I even use as a sixth on this team? I don't want to use Rilia, I don't want to use Mega. You can't use Freya because she's too low level. There's no point in having Minotaur because you have... That you have, because you have Phoenix. And so who's left to use? So, Medusa, Phoenix, Shude, Tesla, Rathandi, and then who's your sixth? I don't know. You can't separate F2 free and paid servers. What if a free player decides to pay something? You move him over? Or they be lazy and he, and he stays there with his paid account? can't work. It'll, that can never be s correctly segregated. Every game like this always I'm not, always wants gifting, always wants trading, always wants something. Even And you think of all the ideas like let's trade within guildmates, let's trade only once a day, let's trade and make it a cost to trade, let's make it lending. Like none of those will ever work. Because all I have to do is make 10 new accounts and give myself stuff. So, no, it, it just can't work. Mega is never going to heal. Mega is going to die. Mega is going to die before he ever gets a skill off. Uh, so, Cole, unfortunately, your sixth person is kind of doomed here. There is no sixth that's good. 
But he has Shudmel and he has Verthandi. He's got healing. Uh, Penny, I wouldn't say Moon Shop was anything similar to trading, but it was a good shop that doesn't, um, that doesn't penalize or that is evenly split in usefulness for free and paid players. And I think that that was like, it was, it was really good. Oh, my timers are up. Hold on. Dog, unfortunately, Phoenix is just that strong. Rosetti is not that good, no. Okay. If you consider any market to be trading, I mean, that's not really the definition that we're going for, is we're trying to figure out on what level players can interact with other players to trade goods of any kind. And the goal is, and the answer really is never. Hi, Gokul. Oh man, did Cole leave? All right, so Cole, I can't answer this. I don't know who your sixth hero should be. Uh, you can't do anything here. What to buy from Moonshop? Only buy Star Shards. Demon Fighter at 8 star? No, not that good. Alright, so yeah, I don't have a 6th hero for you. I have 5, but you don't have a good 6th. None of your good, your other ones are good. If you can make Freya 7, use her? No. Probably use Mega, just because she's 8. Or he's 8. That's the best you can do. There's, there's no good answer to this one, unfortunately. All right, Nishan, let me, let me counter that by saying, what if, what if I go into an account, I spend 20 bucks to get it to level 150 or whatever it is and then I give everything to my main account everything that I pulled I just give it over to my main account and I assure you that if I have a brand new account starting from 1 to 150 it's gonna have some pretty good stuff on it and I just spent 20 bucks to buy level 150 worth of stuff you know like multiple 10 stars multiple nine stars all that would i spend 20 dollars on that hell yes i would so no terrible idea well no it won't get you to 150 but it'll it'll hyper speed the process Like, well, okay, 150 is a little bit high, actually. My main, my alt account is not even 150. But still, the idea of having that where it's, uh, when do you get the free refresh in the wheel? It's three hours. You just, there's just no way that any sort of P2P gifting in any form can ever work in a in an economy of multi in a, in a, in a game that has microtransactions. It just it just can't. All right. J H J J H H B G B a lot of letters here. Hold on, I'm going to put a cutoff point. I'm trying, I'm trying. And now I lost my spot. Oh my god. Alright. Also, I get distracted with other questions and stuff. Oops, come back. Alright, who is JJGGBT? JJ. 
JJ, haha, bugger better. All right, so with this, take it easy, Colt or er, Xavier. Um. Okay, so this is an interesting first three. Freya saw Centaur. Okay, instead of Freya, I would probably use Hester. But aside from that, is pretty good. So, um, yeah, use these three plus Fr plus Hester Centaur Saw. Uh, your damage is uh, gonna be a little bit lacking because seven star mega is very bad But there's not much you can do about it until you start getting better heroes you it looks like you're pretty much waiting for second copies of everything so By the way entice went pretty hard to get Mars. He was not a uh, He, he spent a lot of resources to get that Mars. Like, I think he pulled two... I, I, pu I think he pulled keys twice. And then bought the Mars with Moonstones. So he sacrificed a lot to get it. But, maybe he'll win... Maybe he'll win the stuff for us. Alright, so... You can nearly get Freya, Freya and Reaper six stars? Okay. Make Freya, make Reaper... Uh, and you'll be good. Keep probably... At that point, it doesn't matter who the 5-star is. It, it's not going to matter who they are, because none of them are going to be all that useful anyway. Um, so, probably just throw in Centaur and have her work with... Have him work... No, it doesn't matter. So you'll have 5 6 stars and it won't matter who the 5th one is at that point cuz they're going to be a sacrificial lamb. You almost could make this saw 6 stars. If you do that, that's okay. Nishan miracle eyes are just slow to get. Period. Infamous. Oh my gosh, finally. Someone tell Colt to donate me one Mars. Just one. Just one copy. One copy. And it's not even going to make me compete in Legion. It's just going to make me feel better. Alright, so Infamous, this is your team. Infamous Michael, are you still here? Did he leave? Okay, well, whatever. So this is the bad idea that uh, you can't put all your power into one team. You gotta, you gotta split it up a little bit. So you probably should put the Verthandi down here somewhere, or the or the Freya. Put one of them down here, and try to make an Ara here, and try to make this team like 700 and this one 700. Try to do that. Like you have to, you have to split up your power. Dang it, Colt! I just need one copy, one copy. Oh my god! So next miracle event. Oh my god! I'm looking forward to the next miracle event so much. If I can triple pull it and it's the new hero, I'll be so happy. Like I think the next miracle event is going to finally make me stronger, but that's three weeks away. Yeah, Orphean Demon Fighter, neither one is good. So, Michael, move one of your 10 stars down. Probably Freya. Probably move Freya. Wow, three Monkey Kings? One, two, three, four, five... Oh, bold. GT1 is never going to be good again. Not until... I mean, 
Basically, nobody on GT1 wants to spend money anymore. Uh, Penny, the problem is that co it's not just copies that are the problem, it's flags. Use Moonstone to get my last Mars? That's not going to happen until the Miracle event. Like, if I don't get the Mars from Miracle event, I'll probably do it. Because I don't have the resources to do anything right now. Uh, I can't e I can't even pull wheels. So yeah, flags are a problem. He's got the stuff to make Phoenix 9. Almost. Actually, I can't see if he's got any uh, horde fodder going down here, but... So anyway, the main idea is split your power. Put one of the 10 stars here. Uh, make it so that you have two very scary teams. Uh, and that would be... that would be better. Because this team's not bad. But this team is also not scary. So, put the Freya down here and good to go. Like, if you need to, throw throw Chessia up here. Chick balls, no. You can buy anything in the moon shop as many times as you want. But you can't afford it. Uh, Colt. Please remember that I didn't buy any packages, and I didn't throw, I did not throw 10,000 extra tokens into the celebration thing. So I only got like 20 wheel tokens, maybe, maybe 50 wheel tokens total out of the event. Like my account right now has 174. So, yeah. Someone that got a Ragnarok should not be assuming that everyone got a Ragnarok or anywhere close to it. I still only have, what do I have, 2200? 2170. And actually, I put most of mine into the light side. I pulled light because keys are rare. I don't think I will be able to pull the wheel event. Uh, with only 174 things? Maybe, actually. Maybe. If I, if I get lucky with uh, Planet Shop stuff... And have some more tokens in here... There's a little bit here. I might be able to pull... I might be able to pull wheel next week if I get really lucky with Planet Shop, but for the most part, no. Okay, so, hold on. Wheel event will be next week. All right, so yeah, Michael, move, move Freya down. Move Chessia up and put her in this team and move Freya down and make this team stronger. Do we know the hero for the wheel event? No, but we'll find out in three days. Budak Super. Okay. So I would say in this team... I would say in this team use Tiger King, Medusa, Vivian, Saw, Werewolf, Conrad. You probably actually if you use Conrad as your tank, go ahead and use Martin. Yeah, okay. So Conrad, Werewolf, Saw, Vivian, Martin, Medusa. What happens in wheel event? Uh you get a hero for pulling four hundred wheels, that's all. And some moonstones. Well, dang, bold, good luck. What about Freya? Don't use Freya. Freya is bad at five stars. Uh, Dimitri, you gotta put 
you gotta put it in Discord, but I am... I am full up on... The queue is too full right now. Okay, Abona. Abon. Abon? Wait. Ab Wait, this is the same account. Abon, you were Budak Super. Oh gosh, you're using this? See, I wouldn't do this only because, uh... Only because this Morgenstern is bad, Walnir is bad, Conrad is an okay tank at this level, Freya is bad. I would rather have healing here, I would rather have Medusa's Petrify, and I'd rather have Saw's damage and Martin's damage. So I would say throw away your Aura and put in better 5 stars. If I have to triple pull eyes next month for, like, junk, I'm gonna be so mad. I'll probably- I'll probably wait and then my team will just be trash for another two months. <sighs> yeah, so Budak Super, I would say don't use those five stars. Use better five stars. Alright, next is Nalgrim. What the heck? There's way more. No, I have a cutoff point. If you post after the cutoff point, which was already posted, uh, I can't... I can't go... I can't do that many teams. Diego, if you send me a DM, I can do it later off of stream. But I can't... There's just too many people in the channel waiting now. Or post it in questions and have general advice. Okay, so... Uh, in your case, I would replace your, I would replace your blood tooth with uh, Phoenix. Yeah, Diego, DM is direct message. Message me on, on Discord, and I'll get to it after the stream. So definitely use F Phoenix over blood tooth. Phoenix at eight stars is better than a ten star. So yes, use Phoenix. Uh, the rest of the team is not bad. You can probably keep it like this. You'll do fine. Um, eventually, you would like to replace Saw with Ultima. But for where you are, this is pretty good. Level him up. Oh, I see. He's only 149. Okay. Worst case scenario... If you're sick of waiting, you can throw some money in and buy Purple Souls. Uh, remember that today is Planet Trials, so if you get lucky and there's some Purple Souls in uh, in Planet Shop, then you can do it. But yeah, get Phoenix to 180 ASAP, replace Bloodtooth, and you're good to go. Uh, Penny, it's up to you, really. You will need 10 star fodder for I think 13 star, but not for 10, not for 11 star. For 11 star, you just need copies. So I wouldn't save copies of 10 stars, but you can go ahead and continue to make 10 stars just for fun. What am I looking at? Oh, here we go. Why Ripper? Why Ripper? Why Ripper? Oh boy, why Ripper? I would rather have the Shudmel than the Ripper, by the way. And... This is a very unfortunate team. I gotta say, Minotaur, Vivienne, and Ripper 10-star? Uh, Innermost, no. They're not confirmed, but we know they're gonna come someday. Okay, not arena team? Okay, wow. Leech- Wah! Wow. 
So from what I'm seeing from people that are using with their teams is you should put your trash team up front, put your strongest team second, and put your second strongest team, team third. Because this team, there's no point in having this team hidden. This team being hidden is asking for it. Um, if I see one of these, like if, like if I'm at this level of playing, I will kill this team with a decent 10 star team. I will sacrifice my trash team to this because I know Monkey King is super strong and I'm going to kill this with anything left. So you should hide the 10 star team so that they, they don't notice it. So probably put this team first, this team second, and this team third. So I'm thinking, yeah, weakest team first, strongest team second, middle, t middle strongest team, middle team third. That would be the best if you are going to make one absolute trash team. Um, because honestly having, are the two strong teams good? Um, they're not scary really, but in terms of how your power is split up, I think you need a little more power in the top one. I would, let's see. If you replace... Oh man. I don't know how to fix it. I don't know how, I don't know how to fix it. Uh, I think this team lacks power. Like... CE wise it's fine, but power wise, like where does your power come from? It's very weak. Um, Shoot Mel is not good for high damage. Ripper is terrible for damage in, in PvP. Minotaur does no damage, and then you've got this. So unfortunately, Shoot Mel doesn't do damage. So I'm not... Switching Nameless King and Verthandi is not the answer. He needs to swap one of these two, but he can't swap Freya because it's Monkey King, and he can't swap, um... How about swap Ripper for Puppet Maid and Martin for Vivienne? Swap the Alliance and Elf, or the Alliance Undead here. That will put a little more power into this team. The Vivian will give it staying power. No, that's a terrible idea. Tiger King for Freya? Tiger King doesn't do damage either. If you put Luna up here, you lose even more damage. You can't do that. Luna is not. Luna doesn't do enough. I think you don't have enough. You can't do Scarlet for Minotaur. What if you did Scarlet and Minot Scarlet and Monkey King for Minotaur and Freya? I don't know about that. Change. Like, let's, let's consolidate this, right? Let's say, where is your damage coming from? Your damage is coming from Monkey King, Luna, Ripper. You've got three people. You've got three people that can do damage. That's it. The rest of your people are not good for damage. So if you have to consolidate it, you either make one... You, there's no way to, like, balance that. Uh, so probably Ripper needs to go with Luna. And then Monkey King has to be on his own. And you need to figure out how you can make... How you can balance the power of that. Is a f 
Is a full team of Lindbergh good? Not really. Lindbergh only hits the back t back line, so you will never kill their front line, and you'll waste a lot of skills. Scarlet. One sec. Hello. Okay, so really, so you have four damaging heroes. Uh, you have Monkey King, Scarlet, Luna, and Ripper. So basically, no matter what you do, two of them need to be on each of these teams. So Luna has got to go, one of these two has got to go up here. So what you can do is put Tiger King up here. Or no, no, put Luna up here, replace Martin, put Tiger King here to fill the Aura back, and put Martin down here. But he has, Mon but he will keep Monkey King and Scarlet here. Yeah, I think Monkey Luna up top, Martin down bottom, and Tiger King to the middle. That's what I think. That's the safest way that you can put that you can split your damage heroes into two two. Uh, Zivko, you can go ahead and keep Verthandi as the tank. I turned it down a little bit. Hi, Orlail. Hey, long time no see for you too, actually. You can't use Tiger in this situation. You can. You totally can. Although it hurt. I mean. Yeah. Put Tiger here. Luna here. And Martin down here. That way you'll have Luna and Ripper doing damage up here. You'll have Monkey King and Scarlet doing damage here. Which team do you hide? Hide the Minotaur team. Hide the Minotaur team. You may or may not want to put... 5.41 a.m. What are you doing up then? Uh, in that... I mean, you may want to put Vivienne with Mon Minotaur and put the Ripper down here too. Because Monkey King doesn't need the healing. Minotaur does. You need Minotaur's team to be long-lasting. So maybe put Vivienne here. Put Luna here. Move Martin here. 
and move Tiger King here. Or no, no, you gotta bring Ripper down. I don't know. But, but if you bring Ripper down, then you need to move Scarlet up. Oh my god. Now the music's too low. Your problem is that you have three weak 10 stars, and if you split them 2-2, two, two, you're doomed because you can't do it. So I guess the answer then would just be what I said is put Luna up top, Martin, Tiger King in the middle, and Martin on the bottom. You can't swap Martin for Vivienne because then he has three 10 stars on this team. So it's no good to put three 10 stars on the one team. My favorite hero is this one, right here. Who doesn't exist in 10 star form, but she is my favorite. She's also right here. This one. Not this one. This one. Uh, frozen Cheese, you've got a lot of tough decisions to make. You need to find a way that you can get two of your damage dealers on these teams, and you need to manage to also split the 10 star power and that's not gonna it's not gonna be easy i i don't know i i can't give you an exact way to split it because there's a lot of options but try doing what i said and see if that works if it doesn't work for you Then I don't know. It, it should be it should be better than it was. Let's say that. All right. Next is one one two eight five. When they get to ten star, you'll have a lot more options. But for now, see you can't do that because Rex. If you do that, the Ripper is also on the first team, and he's got too much power in the first team, and now his second team won't have any power because Freya is no power. He'll have a nine star. Luna, he'll have a an 8 star Verthandi. Like, he'll have no power on his second team. He can't do that. Monkey King is Monkey King is not a carry. Monkey King will carry versus 9 stars, but he'll die versus 10 stars. Oh, it's too loud again. Um, Monkey King will not will not survive versus 10 stars and if he's got 10 stars they've got 10 stars so really like you're in a very hard position all around all right let's see here one one two eight five who are you wow no good elf Oof. Poor Luna. Alright, this team is as good as it gets. Uh, unfortunately, this Ripper is not good. Maybe consider swapping Ripper for Luna if you can get her. But for now, I don't think you can do anything better than this. This is a solid team, though. I don't really like Mars at 9 stars. I really don't. I really I really don't like Mars at 9 stars. I don't think his he doesn't cuz he doesn't have the stun. But for the most part, try to replace Ripper with Luna. I don't show that I'm dropping any frames, Monty, so it's uh it's on your side. All right, Shattered. I'm going to 
I'm gonna go faster. I'm gonna. I keep saying I'm gonna go faster. I gotta go faster. All right. Like I can't wait for people to be here. I gotta. I gotta just do it. All right. This five star phoenix immediately is not that good. Uh, phoenix unfortunately is not as good at five stars as you would think, because his stun percentage is only fifteen percent. So replace him with Tesla, I guess. Olivia goes well with every border. Olivia is just that awesome. Alright, yeah, take out that Phoenix. Phoenix is doing nothing for you right now. Wait until you get a second copy and then work with it. But put Tesla back in. Uh, Arima is your account? Are you... I haven't gotten to Arima yet. Oh, wait. Oh, it is you. Wait, what? I don't... Are you Rima? I have Rima. Who's Arima? Uh, Monty, try refreshing. Oh, I see. Oh wait, Tanker, you're shattered? No, no, no. Tanker is 11285. Oh god, I don't even... Okay. Yeah, Monty, try refreshing your browser. Oh, okay. Okay, so Thomas, you're Arima. Arima Kisho. Okay, so replace Phoenix with Tesla. Wait till you get a second copy of Phoenix and make the change then. But for now, you can't use him because at five stars, he's not very good. He doesn't offer enough, especially when you've got an eight star Medusa. So use that. If you could do it, I would suggest six starring this Orphe and foddering her for. Uh, Xavier, I don't understand your question. Friend, you where? On the game? I can't do it unless you're on my server. Saw Machine or Ultima? Ultima is better. I would suggest six starring the Orphe, or trying to, and feeding her to Vegas here. Don't even wait for Orphe because she's terrible. But, yeah, throw back in the Tesla, and it's going to wait for fodder. Uh, you've got the fodder to take Tesla up. You can fodder Conrad and Blue Hat and Samish and Radolf. And Tesla is okay to take to 9 stars. That's fine, too. Uh, actually, this whole team can be taken to 9 stars, so go ahead and work on that until you find better copies of the next heroes. All right, Gabe the Goat. I somehow doubt Gabe is here still, but we'll see. Okay, so this is... This is weak because you have six stars in a team with a nine star. You don't have the fodder to take Ultima up. You don't have the copy for Luna. You don't have the fodder for Minotaur. Okay. So basically, this team is stuck. Uh, these are... Vi this six-star Freya is basically useless. But you don't have anything better, so you just gotta wait for copies here, too. Why don't you have a Verthandi yet? Not even one? I don't know. Li, uh, Liu Vun Hao. Okay. Medusa is the first 10. Okay. Ha <laughs> Rex. Okay. Can you see how, f how far you down you are from Vun Hao? Okay, so let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, debt laugh. Debt laugh. Okay, so.
So again, this is the same problem that I'm having, is that, are you using Vegas here in the back or front? Because you can put Phoenix as your tank now and use Vegas here in the back. Freya 7 or Verthandi 7? Probably Freya. She's fast enough and strong enough to be a decision maker. Your first 10 will be Detlef? Oh, that's a terrible idea. Ah, DK, DK, unfortunately I'm cutting off. I'm cutting it off. Okay. So if you have Monkey King 8 and replace Veg with Centaur. Great. That's great. Uh, don't replace your... Obviously you, you are nowhere close to getting an Aura. So... Yeah, Monkey King 8 and then Centaur 9 will be a great idea. Do that. I wholeheartedly support that idea. Is 6 star Wolnir good? Not really. He's good at 6 stars, but he's terrible anywhere past that. Uh, Vun Hao, the other thing is, it's a great idea because it's getting this 7 star out of there and she needs to be gone. You can't use a 7 star on a 10 star team, but... Your next pull, everything is always miracle, is always heaven and hell. Always heaven and hell. Especially for where you're at. Especially because you need, um... Eventually you need this Rathandi to go up, so you need the fodder for her. Okay, Luciano. Uh, Tesla or Samashi 9 stars? Take Tesla up. I've been up for two hours, a bone. Xavier, I don't understand your question. Friend, friend you where? On Discord or on the game? Ah, is Phoenix good? Yes, max out Phoenix. Absolutely max out Phoenix. Okay, so, oh, this Olivia is unfortunate, but what's done is done. And now it's... Uh, Discord server is in the video description. Hold on. Uh, Xavier, nobody can friend you unless they know what server you're on. And even then, I can't friend people unless they're high level. Because otherwise I can't hit their friends' bosses. Boy, some of these songs are really loud and some of them aren't. Um, like, there's nothing you can do until you pull more copies. These four are fine. They're not fine. You would like to get rid of Rilia and Olivia, but you don't have copies of anyone to replace with. Uh, do not six-star Tiger King. Do not. Save the fodder for someone else. Uh, actually, can you six star... Can you six star forest healer? Because he would be good. Forest healer would be a good one. Uh, 94 would be too low for my main account. Actually, it would be too low for both of my accounts. I need people like 130 plus on alt and like 180 plus on main. But again, what server are you on? Okay, so Luciano, try to make Tiger King or Forest Healer six, and then she would be he would be a great replacement for either of these, but also for Dro. Um, Rilia or Abyss Lord? Rilia is a better tank, but Abyss Lord has longer longevity. So it's going to depend. If you can take them to seven, Abyss Lord. If you can take them, if you have to stop at six, then Rilia. Uh, don't replace Rilia yet. Work on replacing your two five stars. Replace Dro with Forest Healer and replace somebody with Lindbergh later. Once you get there, then you can work on uh, Olivia and Rilia. Okay. Give me some five stars. I 
I kind of can't give you any five stars, though. You, you create your own luck. So use your six five stars here. Um, how does defense break work? It's basically lowering. So their defense lowers is like a damage reduction percentage against how much damage you do, and defense reduction would or defense break would drop that percentage. Is what a meme? Are you a meme? Ah, uh, okay, yeah, use your six five stars. Xavier, to get your server, go to menu, options, server, and then you can see your server here. So, I can see my servers here. You can only be friends on the same server as someone. Vlad, what is that? Pet, Petra, Petrashin? Petrashin? Is that what that says? Vlad Petrashin? Okay, so... Who was this? This was... Give me some five stars. Yeah, you gotta use all the five stars you can have. Should you lose your five star Martin and five star Blue Hat from six star Milan? Probably. I probably wouldn't fodder Martin. No, that's not true. Go ahead and fodder Martin. Go ahead and fodder Martin. Mar Milan's not that good though, so you'd probably like to have a better six star than Milan. But you can go ahead and fodder both Martin and Blue Hat. Alright. Rex. Okay. Two pictures. Alright, Rex. Let's see what you're... Whoa! Whoa! Uh, Orange, unfortunately, I think you're too late, and there's too many people in front of you this time. Uh, okay, Rex, your friend needs to change his tap-tap name, because he is very clearly not a prodigy. Very, very clearly not a prodigy. Okay, so what can he fix? Okay, so at least he was smart enough to use Valkyrie and not Heaven's Judge for the Aura. So, glimmer of... glimmer of hope. I don't think you can fix this until... until he, uh... I don't think he can fix it until you get new, new heroes. Hey, Soft Energy, thank you. Scarlet or Bloodtooth? I would rather have Scarlet. Second copy of Vivienne to replace Orphe. Okay. And what is he doing to replace Cursed One? Boy, if he can just get that... Uh, orange VIP levels or just smart gem usage? So, he needs to replace Cursed One and Orphe. Oh my goodness. So, unless he gets second copies, uh, he's kind of not doing anything. Two Verths. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna watch ads. He needs fodder for her, too. Where did that go? Whoa! Oh, no. Never mind. I see. 
Ah, uh, two verse and backpack. All right. Well, I mean, you know what you did wrong. So, Murloc to Phoenix. Marco, I'm gonna try to. Reaper or Hester, which one is good? Wait, is that Ripper or Reaper? Because if it's Reaper, actually in all cases I would take Hester. So, all right, well Rex, you know what you need. Uh, Tesla to eight and use Vivian as fodder. I wouldn't because um, Vivienne is still really good in, in Expedition. And yeah, Orphe needs to be out ASAP. So no, don't fodder Vivienne. Lost my Discord, okay. TNT. The picture with all your heroes is below Chick Balls, okay. How many copies for getting 10 stars? You need five copies. Two to get to six, one more to go from eight to nine, and two more to go from nine to 10. Uh, Shushank, I would keep Detlaf, but I would never use him until like much later. So maybe someday he would be okay, but I would never try to use him now. Where am I going? Okay. TNT. Yeah, T278 doesn't work for me because I'm on T153 and GT1. Okay, so TNT, um... Huh? Hmm. I guess your team is as good as it needs. I, I, you put your plan on your, into the chat on what you plan to make this into. Okay, let me see. Oh my gosh. The plan. The plan is to unity with Ultima and shoot Mel. Okay. Oh god, you are... Oh, Orlale, I cut off, actually, before you, po you posted your team. Okay. Didn't I do Team Critique last week? Um... Rex, no, unless you're exactly on T-153 or GT-1. Okay, so your plan is to Ultima and sh Wow, really? That far away? Okay. Wait, hold on. Sorry, Orlail. I just, uh... I got very, very swamped with people this when I do these. Okay, so this is the goal. Where is that from this? Minotaur for Medusa. This is a good team. If you can make this... If you, if you can make this, this is good. This song sounds like Batman. Shadow is Vigilante. Sounds like Batman. So if you can make this, go ahead. Do it. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about this. Because like I tell people, you should focus two, two stronger teams. So you should move a little bit of power out of this one and up into this one if you can. Like try to make a different aura here with different heroes. Uh, Monty, yeah, you're a little bit too slow for sending screenshots to Discord. 
for Legion. Okay, let me see here. One, two. Viper, Verthanti, and Freya are the easiest Heaven and Hell to get. Absolutely the easiest. Verthandi is in Feathers, and that you get a free Freya from... You can get Freya from the Soul Shop, as well as from hitting level 100. So, you're almost given a free 6-star Freya. Okay, so... Uh, Justin, what I would say is move Verthandi and Saw Machine up to here and try to make an, a Unity Aura with some other fodder. If you're going to use level 1s anyway, just go ahead and do that. Make this team trash and show it up top or in the middle. But try to make a Unity Aura here with these two stronger heroes. There is no point in having three average strong teams when you can have two super strong teams and one weak team. That's the better way to do it. Uh, Xavier, you cannot move your accounts to other servers. So, yeah, Justin, move your strong people up here, make this team stronger, and work with that. Okay. Which team do you hide? Probably hide one of the strong teams. Show your trash team up top and hide one of the strong teams. Okay, next is Kleiser. Dang. Dude, Frozen Cheese's team was some good debate. That's tough. That one was a tough one. Oh, what happened? Oh, shoot. I went into the wrong one. No! Minimize the wrong thing. Chick balls. Oh, I did miss... Hold on. Sorry, Kyle. I did miss chick balls. He was in between all of Justin's screenshots, and then uh, I skipped him by mistake. Hold on. Let me do chick balls first. All right. So, oh, 10-star Freya. And an Aiden. How do you like Aiden? Does he do damage? Uh, besides Valkyrie, Ultima. How Does Aiden do good work for you? Like, I just don't understand what makes him strong. This is a pretty good team, I gotta say. Minus Saw Machine. Well, you have... Basically, you can't change anything here. Um, this is as good as it gets. But also, I would consider moving Scarlet in front. So put Scarlet first, Verthandi second. Um, that way, Verthandi will live a little bit longer. Five to six star damage dealers, who do you look for? Uh, all the Heaven and Hell people are good. Reaper, Hester, Sh um, Luna, Centaur, Scarlet, Medusa, Valkyrie. Would be pretty good. I want this draw too. Alright, so yeah, my advice is just move Scarlet in front. If you have 205 Moonstones, buy Star Shards, put it on Freya, watch things blow up. Watch things seriously blow up. But aside from that, the team seems fine. Okay, back to Kyle. Guild coins on Medusa. No! 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 Never! Never, 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 never buy Medusa with guild coins. Never! Oh, can I put a keyboard shortcut on this? I 
I don't think I can. I want to put a keyboard shortcut on showing rule one and two. That would be pretty awesome. Hi, Emil. None of the heroes in guild tech are worth buying as your last copy to 10 star. None of them are all that good. Not worth it. Absolutely not worth it. Alright, so... Kyle, let's see here. Uh, what should you buy with guild points? Just tech. Just tech. Tech is... Tech is very hard to level up because guild points are very hard to come by. You will not... You cannot get enough to max it easily. So only, only ever buy guild point, guild tech. Um, hmm. Alright, so Kyle, I would say throw away the aura. Put in, put back in the lone hero. Replace probably... Dark Judge... Dark Judge or Morganstern, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you can use this... No, don't use her. Wow, that's really good luck with Ultima. Four copies? Hello? Uh, I'll be done in like half an hour, maybe. So, yeah, throw away the Aura, but the thing is, Ultima's got to be in front. So Ultima here, Min Minotaur here, throw your last 5-star here, and then put Puppet, Luna, and Lone Hero in the back. Ultima is not that easy to get. This guy is so lucky. Okay, I need to I need to heat sp speed up and I need to um, I need to stop. I need to call it for today. So okay, rogue. Oh wait, didn't rogue say he was leaving? Oh gosh. In the long run, Minot neither of them in the long run, but Minotaur is okay to take to nine stars. Min Walnir is not. Okay, Rogue, one Phoenix, and Walnir, okay. I'd rather have the Spider than Walnir. I'd rather have the Shudmel than Walnir. Throw, throw in Shudmel. Walnir is doing nothing for you. So max level Shudmel and put her in, but let me see. One, two, three, four, five, okay. And you're using Rathandi Freya. Yeah, get that Shudmel up. Hester, Accursed One, and Five. You can use both, but Hester's better. One Monkey King, two Freya. How's your Hell Fodder? Three. Is bad. You just got Shoot Mel? Okay. It looks like you have the fodder to take Freya up, so you. Are you waiting for flags for her? Okay, Ultima can replace uh, Ultima can replace Saw Machine easily, easily. Eight star Ultima would replace Saw Machine, but you've got the fodder for Freya, so definitely make her. How do you rank up fast? Auto clicking. Remember, today is Planet Trial, so you've got some gems. Try to buy some some flags with gems if you got them to to if they're. If they cost 150. Orange artifacts with guild points. No. No. You get guild guild you get uh, artifact shards with idling, so you don't need to do that. Alright, so I mean you've got a good plan. Make Freya nine, 
uh, make Shudmel max level and replace Walnir. Make Ultima as soon as he's 8 star, replace Saw Machine, and that's a good team. And you've got the copies to do it, so you're in a good place right now. Definitely in a good place. Okay, Feifei the Potato. Are you really a potato? Don't lie to me. Are you really a potato? What's your arena team? Uh, Joseph, I cut off like an hour ago. No, Potato is in a bad camera. So one, two, three, four, five, six, I guess? I don't know. Well, I mean... You're you're on the right path. You just gotta. I mean, Walt, Walt, Wolf Rider is not that good, but Tiger King is a great tank to start with. Three hundred from one copy of Shoot. Go for her, Monty. Shoot's worth it. And you have you know four days left. You'll get there. So I mean, Wolf Rider is not great, but that's okay. You've made him. You can use him. And um, you're just gonna be waiting for your next copies of stuff. Scarlet's a good one. Dro is a good one. Uh, Freya and Shudmel, eh, not that great at five stars, but probably still better than Amy and Khalil and Blue Hat and Puppet Maid. So, I guess go ahead and use the top seven minus Martin, and wait for, wait for copies of stuff. Don't make this Mulan six star. Okay, Tanker is next, so I'm just going to open his stuff and I'm going to wait for him to come back and I'll pass him. Should you use 6-star Brilia to get 8-star Minotaur? Yes. Go ahead and do that. If I recall, your Brilia was level 1, so go ahead and do it. Hi, Iriko. Oh, Tanker, you're here. Okay, hold on. Okay. So, Tanker. I got to go faster. I need to. I need to stop. I'm going to I'm going to try and finish this up in the next 30 minutes or less. Okay, tanker, you've got Okay. You need a witch doctor. You need a witch doctor. I am so familiar with this situation. <laughs> I am so familiar with this situation. It's so painful. That witch doctor. Once you get witch doctor, you're great. Um, but until then... I mean, obviously X-Death and Mega gotta go, but... Take it easy, Kyle. Thanks for stopping in. And good night, Rogue. You... Oh, that witch doctor. I did stupid things to get a witch doctor, so no judgment. Um, I would actually... Uh, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Walnir and Tiger King are just useless. Chick balls, I would not go for a skin. You can get one skin for free from the achievement for buying five yellow skin so I would try to get it from there, but the skin isn't worth it. Like, the, the percentage increase is so minuscule that it's not worth it. Oh, good job, Iriko. Those flags are not easy to come by. Okay, so, um, yeah, if you don't have Phoenix, just always remember that you need a Witch Doctor, because that Witch Doctor... When you don't need him, you got five of them. When you need him, you can't get one to save your life. 
Uh, this mega is very unfortunate, but I've been there, so, and I am there on my second, so I know how that works. So yeah, get that Phoenix up and go from there. You need somebody to replace Medusa eventually, but wait until you get copies. Because it really could be anybody. You don't know what you're going to pull. It could be Ultima. If you get your second Ultima, go ahead and replace Medusa with that. So... Actually, if you can buy Ultima with Souls, you, sh you might want to go ahead and do that. And you don't have a blue hat, but... Yeah, try to replace, try to get Ultima and Phoenix. Good luck. Alright, next is Witch Doctor, because you need Witch Doctor to make a 6-star Phoenix. If you look at Creation Bag... This Witch Doctor is so hard to get sometimes. But you need a 5-star one, not a 6-star. So, you know, if you mess up and don't have him, but you have 4 Phoenixes, you're screwed. You need that Witch Doctor. So everything comes down to, can you make this Witch Doctor right here? Very important. Very, very important. Alright, next is, who is this? Um, this is Tha1994 think your team is a bit short on damage not really not really once you have Rathandi and Freya your team is good on damage Freya is a lot of damage and so is Rathandi do you six star of Mars or six star of fodder for nine star Rathandi I would make the fodder for Rathandi but do not fodder your Mars copies uh, six star Rathandi is going to help you a lot more than the five than a six star Mars. Uh, probably not Regellus. I went over my time limit today. I would love to because I have Labyrinth to do, but I have uh, I have some drama to deal with. So I I need to end this stream as soon as possible. Alright, thanks, thanks for stopping in, Regalis. 1994, this is a good team. Your damage is... It could be better because you don't have... Uh, you don't have... You're, you're good... These people are all 9 stars, but it's not bad. It's, it's pretty good. Tech for Mage. Focus on health to 60, attack to 50, skill damage to 20. The other ones don't matter. Crit rate and hit rate, they don't matter. Ignore those. Get them to 10 just so you can get to skill damage. Once you get those three, uh, then you can go ahead and level them any way you want. There's no priority. Okay. Blitzkun. How many do I have left after that? One, two, three. I got three or four more. Okay, good. Good progress, good progress, good progress. Blitzkun. Okay, okay. Uh, this is the best that you've got. The five stars are unfortunate, but... But you can't do anything better until you get copies, so you're going to have to wait until you get copies of things. The problem is that once Phoenix hits 9, you can actually safely throw away Vegasir, which is very sad because Vegasir is your highest level character. But you're going to have to play it out and see what you pull. Um, just throw in your next 6 stars and see where you go from there. Next is Tornado. I'm closing. Which way is right to up Guild Tech? Okay, so. Guild Tech. If 
fifth in the qualifying. Guild Tech, Cleric Speed, first. Cleric Speed absolutely should be the first thing that you work on, doesn't matter anything else. Cleric Speed. After that, you can level up, you can mix it in. You mix in HP to 60, attack to 50, and skill damage to 20 on the classes that you use. But mix that in with dodge for either warrior or cleric. Don't need to worry about maxing them immediately. But just get them up to like 20 or 30. But this is going to depend on who you use as a tank. Like if you use a warrior tank like Vegasir, Minotaur, Abyss Lord, focus on warrior dodge. If you use a cleric tank like Rilia, Verthandi, um, or Phoenix, then focus on cleric dodge. But cleric speed, number one. Then focus on averaging out uh, health, attack, and skill damage, and dodge. After that, once you've got these three, or once you've got one of these two dodges maxed and the speed maxed, you are free to do whatever you want. There's no priority. It's whatever class you use the most of, up the guild tech in those classes. Uh, you can see that I've had to invest heavily in Warrior, Wanderer, Cleric, and Mage uh, because my team has all of them. Uh, I've got one, two, three Clerics, one Wanderer, two Mages, so you got to do all of that. So you kind of have to base it on what you've got uh, on your team. But Cleric speed number one. Tornado is you? Okay. Ah, Goblin. It's so silly that they still appear on the guild screen, but not the castle screen. Okay. Alright, tornado is you. Wait, did you have more than one picture? Yeah, you did. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so Verthandi tank, Valkyrie second, and then after that, Aiden, Medusa, Dro, Phoenix, wherever you want. Uh, I don't know. Oh, here you go. So if these are, it seems like you're close to Freya. If you can make a, I don't know what you've got coming down here. But if you can make the six star, then you can make Freya. But you don't have anybody else. So for now, that team is going to be great. Uh, you would if if you're gonna use Verthandi as your tank, make sure that you've maxed her dodge. Make sure she's got a a red two dodge rune, and make sure she's got a good damage reduction artifact like Scorching Sun or Gift of Creation. If you don't have that, then probably give her like boots or something. Don't have dark judges. Them's the breaks. Alright, so you're stuck with that. But that's fine. Freya at 8 star isn't bad in this team. It's just a matter of you'll get there when you get there. No problem. But yeah, that team is fine. This team is a very good team. I'm iffy on Aiden, but if you like him, keep him. You have Gift on her now? Great. Gift is the best for her. Gift is such a good artifact. Oh, I love Gift of Creation. Yeah. Alright. Two more. Ryan XD. This is silly. <laughs> this is just silly. <laughs> okay, okay. Phoenix is not that good. Wait, what is. Wait, where's your bag?
Uh, I can't make any changes to your team without seeing your bag. But this is a... This is an interesting idea right here. Not a good one, but an interesting one. Um, one thing to note... Oh, if you're going to send your bag, I'll wait for you. Because I guess if you're doing that, you may not be able to hear me. You sent your bag? Okay. Okay, so... What?! How did you end up with five nine stars and no other six stars leveled? How did you do that? Did you fodder someone important? What have you been using? I feel like you foddered someone very important to make these these eight and nine stars. Have you seriously have you seriously just been using a five star on your team this whole time? Like, who did you fodder to make the Phoenix and the Medusa? You could have had another six-star Scarlet or something. Or if you, who did you fodder for these? You could have had a... Maybe you could have had a Centaur or something. I mean, it's fine that you pulled a non-Heaven and Hell. That's fine. You shouldn't anymore. But... But he doesn't... He doesn't do any death damage. A five-star does no damage. I mean, let's look at this, right? Let's look at this. My 9-star Hester has 131,000 life. Okay? So if I have, let's say... Let's say I throw in a 5-star Phoenix, and he dies, and he does what? He only has a 30% chance. His, it's not worth it. Like, Phoenix at 30%. At <sighs> You're wasting a slot on your team for that. He, he offers no other benefit to the team aside from this. This isn't, and it's not worth it. Well, at your point, there's no more what you should use because you don't have anybody else. You don't have anything that's higher than five stars. I mean, this Freya would be fine, but Freya is not good at six stars in a nine-star team. Really, until you have a nine-star, you you there's nothing. There's nobody that you can use. Dro, Dro, when she hits, arguably a five-star Dro would be more useful than a five-star Phoenix in that team, because if you look at what Dro does. She silences all enemies for five stars, or for fifty percent. And this is better than this is better than Phoenix's stun. This is this is more useful than Phoenix's stun. So if you're gonna if you're gonna throw in the, a trash five star, which is a terrible idea, put in Dro. She's the only one whose death thing is more useful at, you know, regardless of her level. But yeah, if you can get Freya up to 8 or 9, then that would be good too. Because right now, this is, this is nothing. When people use troll stuff, they use like a 6 star Khalil or a 6 star Ultima. And that's kind of annoying, but uh, 5 star Phoenix, no. So, yeah, replace that. Alright, next and last one is Marco Pies. Oh, finally, I'm done. Marco Pies, are you still here? Oh, okay, what is going on with this? Did you upload your team? No? Yeah, okay. No team. 
so we'll make a team. Have it below. I was gonna suggest this team actually. I was gonna say use X Death for the dis for the Aura. Because your other options aren't amazing no matter what, so Yeah, this is all you got. Use it. Uh, unfortunately, it's a terrible idea to continue taking X-Death up to 8 or 9 stars, but you don't really have a choice. And it doesn't hurt to take X-Death to 9 because he'll still have to be fodder, and you'll still get most of the, or a large percentage of the resources back. Really, aside from X-Death, this is a great team. But you don't have any other undead to work with, so you'll have to stick with him until you can get someone better. Uh, the alternative is to use someone better in a different faction and throw away the aura, but you don't have it. Like, you don't have better copies of... you don't have double copies of anybody better. Like, Medusa would be good. Um... Waiting for Reaper? Okay. Well, are you going to stop leveling X-Death until you get Reaper? Because that is a, that is kind of an issue too. Because you're stuck using a 7-star. Okay. If you're going to wait for Reaper, then start leveling someone else. Like, put more fodder into Vivienne and use her instead. Or, you know, put more into... No, you don't have anybody. I understand not wanting to waste fodder on X Death, even though you're going to have to do it eventually if you want to 10 star someone, but he can't stay as a 7 star on this team. He's too weak. So either you bite the bullet and put fodder into him, or you start leveling somebody else. What is fodder? Fodder is the trash, or is the random 5 star heroes that you waste when you make another hero. So, if I, so if I'm trying to make a six star here, you see how I need two Olivia's and a Conrad and I need three random ones. The three that I put in here are fodder because I don't care what they are and it's just going to be some random other weak low level one or it's just going to be some random one. So this is fodder. Um, is Hester better than Reaper if they are both at 5? Yes. Reaper does not have death damage at 5 stars, therefore he is no longer as... He's not as good as uh, he could be. You could do an 8 star Tesla. Yeah, Tesla would be good. Go ahead and replace with Tesla for now. Until you get that Reaper. I could not have guessed a Tesla out of this. Tesla or Ultima to boost your team of clerics. Ultima is better than Tesla in all cases. Yeah, I couldn't have guessed the Tesla, because I don't see a second copy. So go ahead and make the Tesla and go with that. I would have suggested Vivienne, but unfortunately at 9 stars, you don't need healing. So you don't need to worry about making a 9-star Vivienne right now. Go ahead and make the Tesla and you'll be good. Alright guys. Oh my gosh. 3 hours of should you feed 9 to 10 Ultima? Uh, I wouldn't because Tesla eventually is useful. Like I would try to keep Tesla. I would try to fodder somebody else. Alright guys, uh, it's been three hours of solid team critiques. Uh, I'm going to call it for tonight. I'll be back on Monday with the next event details. 
Uh, it might be a little bit later, unfortunately, because I did get called to work, but will be Monday. Uh, team critique, like I said, I'm going to try to do it maybe every two weeks or so. Uh, I can't do this every week because it's just very tiring. Um, yeah. If you have questions, again, leave them on my Discord. The link is below. Um, six Star Ultima? Yes, absolutely Six Star Ultima. He's very good. Leave questions on my Discord. Leave them on my Instagram. Really, people are very helpful on the Discord. I'm very happy about that. Um, yeah, leave me suggestions for things you need advice on, and I can do that too. All right, guys, I will see you Monday, and uh, have a good night, everyone.